How to construct a root rectangle using the GeoGebra applet. We start with a square and this particular square is dynamic so you can resize it at any time but it is still a square that is it is one by one unit. The Pythagorean theorem would tell us that the diagonal of the square is exactly the square root of two. So to make a rectangle that has this as one side, we'll take this as the center of a circle, this is a radius, and swing this downward so it finds this point that is also the square root of two units from A. And we do it like this. Using the circle tool, this is the center, this is our radius to C, and now we can find this point that is also the square root of two units I missed. I'm going to hit undo. Make sure I get right on that intersection. There we are. Square root of two units from A. The perpendicular tool requires two clicks. Once on the point, once on the ray, and now we've made that right angle to make a rectangle. So now we have a rectangle that is one unit high and exactly from here to here square root of two units long. Which means, Pythagorean theorem again, the diagonal of this new rectangle is exactly the square root of 3. So to create a rectangle that is the square root of 3 units by 1, we're going to take this as a radius and again swing it downward. So again, the circle tool. Well, let's get a point up here at this intersection with the point tool. There we are. Using the circle tool, we'll click on A as the center, drag to this point there. And now we can find this intersection point down here. That is a square root of 3 from A. Perpendicular, we'll click on this point and on the straight object. And now we have found the fourth corner of a rectangle. That is a square root of 3 by 1. And as you can imagine, if we repeat this process, this is the square root of 4, also known as 2, which will get us a point down here, creating yet another rectangle that is 1 by the square root of 4 units, which of course is 2. So a 1 by 2 rectangle, also known as a double square. Let's do this one more time, and now we have a diagonal that is the square root of 5 units. And this point right here is the intersection. Draw our perpendicular upward from point and straight object. And now we found yet another corner of a root rectangle. All of this dynamic, that is, we can drag it and it maintains the same relative size. So we have rectangles that are 1 by 1, or 1 by the square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 4, or even the square root of 5 units. These are root rectangles. Thank you very much.